Welcome back, Seth Bling here. I'm currently on a map called Mountain Mayhem, which is a race for the wool map that my team recently played on and lost uh, in a race for the wool tournament. And the reason that I'm here is that I want to show you a technique that I just came up with. I don't know if anyone else has come up with it before, but it's a safe bridging technique. Let me explain the idea to you. So, Race for the Wool is a format where each team has their own lane and they're identical and symmetric. So, you, if I look down the if I look down the map, you can see the two lanes. Uh, my team is in one lane and the other team was in the other lane, and you have to get three pieces of wool from throughout the map in order to uh, in order to win the game. And there's a lot of maps like this that include um, include bridging elements. And what I mean by that is you have something like this where there's a gap, there's a chasm that you need to cross. Now this isn't the best example because I can actually just jump across into this waterfall and swim up and whatever, but I'm using it as an example just because it happens to have the materials that I need. So I might have people on the other side of the map shooting at me as I'm trying to build this bridge, and if I just come out here and try and build it this way, by you know shift shift crouching and uh, and moving along, it's not going to work very well. So the idea is that you want to do it from behind a safe wall, and so that's that's what I've got going on here. Uh, I can place a torch, and if I aim at the side of the torch, I can actually place my wall farther out. I can break a block here, put a put a ladder down, and then. If I target the right part of the ladder, I can actually build farther out. Now you'll notice at no point in there did I expose myself in any way that would allow the opponents to hit me. So then I can put down another torch, uh, another block, and I can continue this wall out. This is the this is the farthest out that I have to come. It's going to be very hard for anyone to hit me unless they're you know standing on the mountain over there, and I can just continue this bridging. Now it is very slow, and it's impractical in some maps because what you really want is something fast. But there are maps, uh, there are Race for the Wall maps in particular, where you need to make it across a, a gap like this, and, and you just don't care how long it takes you, really. You just need to do it, and you need to do it without getting shot off. And so that's why I'm presenting this technique to you. I, I don't think it'll be useful in a lot of cases, but I do think that there may be some cool cases where it is useful, and so I just wanted to put it out there for you guys. You can see I am going extremely slowly, and I even have uh, a lot of tools that assist me with it. So, yeah, just uh, I mean, take that for what it is. I know that it's I know that it's not uh, the the be all end all of bridge making techniques. Definitely, if you have a piston, you can do this faster and safely. But uh, but if you don't have any redstone like I don't over here, but you do have ladders, which are easy to build because you usually have access to plenty of wood in these kinds of maps, uh, this, this thing will work. And it works okay. It's just a bit slow. Anyway, I thought I'd share. Thanks for watching.